Nap, and welcome back to another episode of Hyperdimension Neptunia Rebirth 2 Sisters Generation. In the last episode, we witnessed the four CPUs lose a battle, and then they are held captive for three years. I have been Kampa come to the rescue only to save our protagonist, Nepgear. We find out why the CPUs lost when we return back to game industry. A new organization called ASIC is trying to spread piracy crime in order to revive game industry's own antichrist, aka R4. It's up to us to stop this madness, so we continue our adventure to save game industry once more. I hope you guys are ready. Guys, are you feel excited to see what happens in this episode? Please consider liking, subscribing, and sharing this playlist with someone you know who might be interested in this series. Okay guys, as you can see, I have done some grinding. The last episode, we were only level 1, and now we are level 7. Yeah, you know how insane I am with this game. I also did it to get money, because we are going to need to do some shopping in this episode. Anyway, guys, the reason that I am having it on the actual menu screen, instead of having it on the map like always, is that in Rebirth 2, this happens. Where are we going? Sometimes the characters talk and interrupt you. So that's why whenever I start a new episode of this series, I'm going to have it on the menu screen so you will know exactly what level my whole party is every single time that the episode starts. Okay guys, with that out of the way, let us return to Planetune to turn in this guild request. Report the results and get paid. See? Pretty simple process, right? Yes. We get work from the guild, complete it, report it, and then we can collect the posted reward. Aw, you're such a smart girl, Gigi! I am one proud Kampa right now! I'm so proud of you, my dear daughter! Kampa, how many times do we have to tell you? You're not our real mother! So what? I'm... I'm as close as you're gonna get to one, so deal with it, Gigi! I love you so much! I love you too, Kampa. This is basically what what the what they're telling the players. All right, Histoire probably needs some time, so we'll take on a few more jobs in the meantime. We get to help others, and we get to help Gigi get big and strong too. Yeah, but Gear, don't do what you did on the last job. The story won't move forward and if you just mope around. Okay, I'll do my best. It's talking about the shares. Okay, so one thing that I do want to talk about when it comes to this game is that there is a new mechanic added. In order to move on to the story, sometimes you have to complete a number of quests or get an amount of shares. So we're going to do these two quests first, and then it should let us advance in the story. But as I said, we're going to the shop immediately because we need to equip some specifically bangles. You remember what I said in the last game? that the bangles are super important. We have to buy them for defense. Unfortunately, there are no new weapons. There are some of these, but I don't think I have enough to buy. I only have enough to buy one, so what's the point? And same with the fashion items. There's nothing new. Okay. Why is this so expensive? Okay. So I'm going to quickly equip them with those bangles just so they can, just so they can, um, you know, have the defense they need to go on in battle. So I'm actually probably going to skip the quest because they're not that important. Do this these chirpers real quick. All right, so we're gonna go to the virtual forest real quick. I'm probably going to, yeah, I was just telling you the basic rules again. Got it. Yes, we know, we know, we know. Okay, yeah, dangerous monsters. They never told you about this in the last game, but it's good that they have um, advice for it in this game. So, you guys can read up on that. Pause the video if you want. Okay, so we need to hunt doggoos and radishers. That's our main target. So I'm only going to hunt a couple of monsters and then skip the rest. So here's a doggoo. Let's beat him down. Good. Let's get this over now that we have quick. bangles and we are level 7, we Hang should yourself. be able to... Do better. Oh, and by the way, since you yeah. notice that Kampa is not on the map, it's because I'm trying to... I'm actually trying to boost the Lily rank between her and um, IF. I was actually wrong in the last episode saying the Lily rank wasn't important. It actually is kind of important in this game. It's not useless and it does have some benefits. Not nearly as good as other games per se. 
But apparently, for some lily ranks, the lily, hey, the, sorry, the, the lily first. rank so, between Netgear, the protagonist, best. and some of the characters can also Please unlock alternative endings. Oh, now, I don't know if my, I myself am going to go through all of these endings. I will do my best, but I don't know if I can. I can't promise anything, but there are multiple endings to this game. There's this, I think this is the game with the what the f*** is that? Um, I don't like the way this guy looks. Who are you, and why do you look Let's like that? Oh my god. Guys, it's a real gamer. It's our worst enemy. Let's beat the crap out of him. No mercy. We cannot have these things reproduce or attempt to. We must extinguish them. Okay. As I was saying before, I got interrupted by myself. There are alternate endings in this game. This is a Neptunia game with the most endings. But I don't know if I can cover all of them. Okay, so before I go back, I'm going to tell you guys how I was able to grind to get to this level. I don't have any grinding 101 guides up yet. But the only the only two enemies I grinded against to get um, the girls to where they are is this giant doggoo and this green horse bird. I fought them multiple times for a few hours. The horse Let's bird gives serious, you, everyone. I think about 23 experience. That doesn't sound like a lot, but when you're starting, it is quite a bit. And yeah, I see those bangles are really helping. We're definitely gonna need them later. So I think I'll probably complete the radish for hunting quest after this. Yep, there it is. I finished it. Nice. That was easy. All right, so now let's go back to hunt more doggoos. Not this one. I just wanted to tell you guys that that was what I hunted while I was grinding. <laughs> okay, now that we're out of the dungeon, let us report the guild. Oops, I totally forgot to give you something here. Huh? What's this? What's this? A present? A product proposal? Yeah, Nep gave it to me a while back, but I think you'll make better use of it than I ever would. I mean, you're into tinkering with electronics and whatnot, right? Oh goodness, absolutely! Are you sure I can have this? I mean, it was a gift from Neptune. Honestly, I can't read her scribbles. They may as well be moon runes, but you know how to read it, right? Yes, she made sure that only Istoir and myself would be able to decipher her handwriting. I figured as much. That's why there's no point in me holding on to it. Put it to good use, okay? Our first plan! You guys remember how plans work? Definitely need to find some add enemies plans and add dungeons plans. Those are super useful, especially for grinding, so hopefully I'll find some. But let me see if I can make that plan, or see what the plan requires to make it. What the heck? Darkness 6. Oh, an add dungeon! I didn't even know I had this! Let's go! I'm not gonna go into that dungeon in this episode, but maybe I'll explore it off screen. So we can make the net bowl. Look at that. Pretty honest requirements. And the life fragment. That's important too. We have to make these so they can sell them in the store. Like I said before, they do not, unfortunately... They, they, they don't, unfortunately, go in your inventory. Ah, perfect timing, you three. I was able to locate the Planet 2 mascot. Okay, so I wear Sonic. I'm just kidding! Oh, really? Yes. You will find it in the area known as Virtua Forest. It seems the mascot is hibernating. The Virtua Forest? Weren't we just there? Feels like we're finally starting to take action again. Let's roll. Gigi, are you okay? You look a little pale. Huh? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm okay, really. If you say so. I mean, Kappa's a nurse. If you're not feeling well, you should you should talk to her. <laughs> you should talk to her, Nephew. Oh, it's a depths area. Interesting. I was gonna say, yeah, there, there, there was nothing here. Oh, what's this? Want to know what's under my skirt, do you? Well, maybe for you I can. Haha, <laughs> did you think I was Nepgear? Wrong! It's me, Nepugia! Is that Nepgear's alter ego or something? What? <laughs> okay, that's weird. 
Okay, so I'm pretty sure this is the disc guy. There's a, there's, yep, yeah, this is just the disc guy. We don't need to know about this, but thank you for the discs. Yes, yes, we can burn this. Yes, I know this. Okay, so who is this? We got Nip here. Some of these sharpers might be important. You do need to talk to all of them. You don't really have to listen to all of them, but you do have to talk to all of them because they might have plans and plans are very important. Oh, here's a plan to unlock Stella's dungeon. It's a mini game where I show through the world's dungeons. I can't wait to go out on my very own adventures. Okay, so this is actually a new thing specific to Rebirth 2. I'll talk about it in just a moment. I'll skip all this. Let's have some discs. We do not have anything, I don't think. Nope, we don't. Do we have anything for the other one? No, we do not. We have nothing. Okay, so let me look at the shop again. There might be new stuff. Yep, there's a new claw for IF. Get her. You can have claws now, IF. Look at you, little shredder. Let's go. It's time to depart. Is the mascot here? Which way should we go first? Hmm. Crap. Don't move. That monster is acting strange. Is it? Whoa! It just... As I thought. Huh? Goodness, what's going on? Monsters are vulnerable to the deity of sin's influence, especially when considering all the shares ASIC has. When monsters are tainted by that influence, they evolve into a more vicious form, like what we just saw. It's called going viral! Viral. They're far more powerful after that transformation, so keep your guard up. Here we go! Yep, viral enemies are in this game too. And you all remember those, right? Basically, you gotta be careful. To oh wow, this looks kinda scary. Oh, and they're fast too, that's not good. Okay, I might, um, should I just do this? Yeah, you know what, screw it. I'm just gonna make them all explode. Get them, IF! Ooh, okay, that was really helpful. Yeah, you see, those bracelets really came in handy. Oh man, they are just, they're just going after poor Nepgear. Okay, Nepgear, can you hit all of them? That would be cool. I think she can only hit three, sadly, but that's still good enough. Get him! Goodbye. Oh, you can finish off this one, too. Oh, what the heck? Let's go! Very nice. Gotta use skills every once in a while. Okay, so Kampa leveled up before them. You know what? I think I'm gonna just put Kampa back in the party. This Lily Rank thing is not working. Oh yeah, speaking of, do you guys see it? There's four people instead of just three. There are gonna be four as, as there's there's four total there's four total when you fight in this game. And that's how it's gonna be for the rest of the series, thankfully, because yes, I prefer even numbers to odd numbers. All right. Fight this corrupted mushroom. Pretty easy, pretty easy. Cause I grinded. Oh, whoa, look at that. Oh, that's just a big old reference to Mario's piranha plants, isn't it? Oh my God. Oh, I love it. Look at this. It's even called a piranha flower. Wow, not subtle at all whatsoever. Are you Neptunia? <laughs> you should be in Louis. What the hell are you doing in Planetune? Got some spiders. I hate spiders, so let's wipe them off the place of the planet. Oh dear, I didn't realize that Nip here was low on health. I'll heal her ne Actually, never mind. They're gonna level up here. Now they're fully healed. Let's go. Okay, let's go find another piranha flower. I just think that's really funny. I would grind off screen, but I think I might be okay, actually. I think I've done more than enough grinding. I could okay. grind a little bit more, I suppose, to just to be safe. What is... Okay, I hate that. What is this? Uh, Hoinen, what is this? I hate it. Get rid of it. Prepare yourself. Well, the game I lagged for a moment there. Yeah, the hey, do you want your shots? I need to calm myself. I'm sorry. You know what? I think I'm gonna fight a few enemies. I'm just gonna kill more of these things. So, who 
solely because I don't like them. I may have over leveled, but that's okay. I didn't expect that. And never be too careful when it comes to this game, honestly. Should probably be trying to find a hidden treasure too. It's a pretty big place. I can fight too. It's my turn. Fix. Repair yourself. Please stop. I hate it. What are they? Please stop. Oh, Nepgear Nepgear has a virus. I can't transform, so it doesn't matter. I mean, she can't transform, she just refuses to because she's scared. I mean, understandable. Oh, look, there's the hard boss. Let's go try to face it. But we should probably save first. I need to take my advice and save every single time we fight an, a risky boss. Oh, Beam Blade! A new one for Nef Gear! New weapon for Nef Gear, look at that. I kind of hate how it looks. What is that? <laughs> I mean... I guess it's stronger, but I don't really like how it looks. Nefgear can just test her sword, I guess. Alright, can you do it now? You can kill those two. Yeah, why not? There we go. Oh, goodness! Oh no, that's not good. I think I do have life fragments, though I do. Sorry, I have. That's embarrassing. Oh, I didn't realize the range on this weapon was better. Oh, I love it. I don't like how it looks, but I love the range. That's another quest complete. Okay, so I do want to try to fight that risky boss, but I think I should probably heal IF first, so let me do that real quick. I'm not running just because you look You know, we gotta we gotta make the time on the we gotta make the time on the episode longer, so let's try. Uh-oh, I think, I think we may be in over our heads, or maybe, maybe not, I don't know. Shoot, let's see if this thing, this thing might kill us. Um, yeah, I think this thing might kill us. Oh yeah, nope, I'm way in over my head, this was a bad idea. Oh my god, this was a really bad idea, oh no. Yeah, I think I'm, yeah, whoops. Maybe I should have been level 10. But, oh, yeah, <laughs> okay, first game over. Oh, that's embarrassing. Oh, what the heck? Oh, okay. Dagu's in love? Alright then. Oh yeah, I have to put the beam blade back on Nephew again, that's right. Okay. So I do have an eject button, that's good. Alright, well, here we go. Oh, is that it over there? I see something. Me too. Wait. Huh? Someone's already there. It seems as though that person is trying to break something. What the goodness? Please stop! Huh? Who the hell are you three? You better stay out of my way, kids! Okay, so for those of you that don't know who this character is, this is one of r Four's followers. You could say she's like R4 except worse. Because she's that much more incompetent. Likewise, Missy. What are you doing to the mascots? Uh, destroying it, duh. Orders from ASIC. They're a nuisance. Then why are you following them if you don't like them? <laughs> what is your logic here? You're a member of ASIC then. I mean, she definitely looks shady as hell, so I'd say so. Huh. Not like I got any reason to explain myself to you, but... Alright, listen up. I'm a proud and mighty member of ASIC's Frontline Infantry, Linda. Don't you forget it. Infantry? So that means you're the lowest rank, right? <laughs> That's not exactly something to be proud of, you know. Frontline infantry? Wouldn't that make you just one of their expendable underlings? Exactly! Exactly! Also, why didn't I have opened her mouth in this animation? Damn this game. 
But yeah, basically you are just the bottom of the barrel, which means you're literally nothing. You may as well be a grunt. Definitely an underling. Miss Underling is definitely an underling. What? Where the hell do you get off calling me an underling? Huh? Well, it's because you said what your rank is, so of course we're going to say what it is, underling. <laughs> And look, her name changed. I guess her name is Underling now. <laughs> Underling's the only name you need. Underling. Now beat it. Could you please move out of our way, Miss Underling? If she's just an Underling, maybe I could fight her. Oh wow, Nevgear. <laughs> Come on, you should hold yourself to higher standards than that. Ugh. Underling this. Underling that. Enough already, you brats. Now you've really pissed me off. You'll regret calling me that. Bring it on. We're level 7. Never... Wait. No, we're level 8. <laughs> I don't even know what level we are anymore. Hey! Yeah! Are you serious? Jeez, how is she this powerful? Well, it's because our four shares are off the charts. That's probably why. <laughs> Otherwise, she'd probably be completely useless. Do you think it's because ASIC has so many of this area shares? Yeah, exactly. Ha! Huh. For so much bark, you idiots had no bite at all! Now to kill you one by one, starting with... Hmm... Aw, no! You leave Nepgear alone! Let's start with you, brat. Um, well, but... I didn't really do anything, so... <laughs> Nev gear. Now's not the time. <laughs> oh my god. Watch out! I have! No! I have? Oh, she took the hit. Oh, good. Just in the nick of time. Are you good, I have? Goodness, no, it's not good at all. Why did you save me like that? I'm not even carrying my own weight. Well, because she's technically your guardian, Nebgear. That's not important. I saved you because I wanted to. Nothing more. Yes, you did. And also, you're her guardian. So, you kind of have to save her. <laughs> not to mention, this is the only hope you have left. I don't understand. I wasn't there to help you all three years ago. I don't want to feel that helpless again. I decided to protect you and everyone else, no matter what. Well, good for you, I have. Good for you. Character growth? Never mind, you've always been like this. I have. Yeah! Enough of the soap opera crap. If you two want to die together, I'd be happy to grant that wish. Hey, they're having a moment. You shut up. I'm so scared, but I need to fight. I have to become stronger, otherwise all my friends will suffer. I won't let that Come happen! Come on, Gear, you can do it! Finally, you got your passion back. Think you can take her on yourself? I can win. I swear. Had a girl. Now then, Nepgear. What are you doing, Aya? Oh my goodness! Um. Uh, what is this? I have. Do you have a thing for Nebgear too? God, imagine if Neptune saw this. <laughs> oh my! I mean, I don't have a problem with it, but damn, I have. <laughs> Let me pass my strength over to you. Oh my God! Okay, forget what I said. They're not parental figures. I, I changed my mind. I changed my mind. This is getting weird. <laughs> okay, I take it back. I take back the parental thing, especially after this. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right then. Sure, sure. Why not? <gasps> oh my god, are you kidding? <laughs> she got her strength back with the kiss? What is this cliche? Oh my god. What? Oh crap. You're a CPU? 
Prepare yourself. I'm not going to lose ever again. All right, Nevgear. Wow. I don't even know what to say about that. I do know about hard drive divinity. I do know this. I won't lose. Okay, let's beat no the crap out of her. Oh, okay. Um, this. yeah. Not a bad hit. Gotta break that guard. Yikes! Well, she can heal, so this is fine. Oh, she has a defensive skill. What am I doing? Well, I'm gonna do this first. Okay, let me heal. heal. I'm gonna I oh, better do this too. Aw, that's very cute. Defensive chair, right, right, raise it's the defense, Nev Gear, let's go. Get your vitality up, let's go. Oh yeah, look at that. Zero damage. That's so funny. Why didn't I do that at the start? Okay, learn from my mistake, you guys. Don't go straight in. Use your defensive chair. Okay, I got this. Finish your Neb Gear. Why you? Damn it! I still have to get better. Yeah, that was kind of embarrassing. Only because I charged in like an idiot without realizing she had a skill that raises defense. <laughs> okay, that's my lesson learned. Sorry about that, Neb Gear. I mean, transforming and stuff? Come on! I'll spare your life if you leave now in peace. I mean, I'd say it's a fair fight. You've got shares that are over the top, so I'd say you have about the same power level, so you shut your f***ing mouth. Oh, yes, ma'am. Thank you so much. If you think I'd say that, pull your head out of your ass. I got a job to do. Wow, okay. No, wait! Why would I listen to you? Ah! The mascot! <laughs> oh right. wow, she broke it? Also, what is the mascot? You broke what? I'm all done here. Next up, Last Station's mascot. Oh hell no, no. You're not going for Last Station. Oh my god. Don't you run away! Ah, oh, jeez. She's too fast for her own good. Oh no. The mascot. Worry not, CPU candidate. Okay, I want to point something kind of funny about these mascots out. I still don't know what the hell that is. It's just like a little floating ball of light. But I'm just going to point this out for those of you that don't know. These mascots have the same voices as the other CPUs. Like, you heard Blackheart in this, right? So Planetune's mascot has Blackheart's voice. I mean, listen, this is just, this is Noir's voice speaking. Huh? A voice? But who? I am this nation's mascot. How unexpected to have my body destroyed while I was sleeping. Do you not hear that? Do you not hear that? Oh my god. <laughs> oh, I kind of wish they had their own voices, but okay. Um... I guess that solidifies the connection between Last Station and Planetoon even further. <laughs> Seriously. This is Noir's voice. Um, so you're okay? I mean, you're talking even after you got smashed to pieces. Okay is not quite accurate, but fortunately, I was able to separate part of my power from my body. Here, I will grant what power I have left to you. Okay, so you absorb the disc. Goodness. This is the power of a nation's mascot, then? I guess you will need them. CPU candidate, I have no way of knowing what has transpired since I began my long slumber. But I have faith that you will use my power for a just cause. And just like that, the mascot vanished completely. Man, that was a close call. Yes, but we managed. All thanks to you, Aya. Yeah, you gave me that kiss, so I was able to transform. 
Does this mean anything specific? Do I need to talk to Neptune about this once we get her back? I'd rather you not tell Nep about this. I think I'd probably get in trouble if we did. Okay, I guess you're right. <laughs> it was a little embarrassing, though. Why did you do it, though? Like, did you want to do it? <laughs> Don't lie, I have. You wanted to do it. If you got to act all brave and lovey-dovey with Juju. Are you jealous of Nebgear or are you jealous of I am? Which is it, Kampa? What? No, that's not how it was, idiot. Um, oh, let's hurry back and report this to Histoire. <laughs> You're pulling the Sendere card, I am? Just because Noir's not here doesn't mean you get to have that right. Come on. Well, okay, we got the purple disc. So much for the Planetune mascot being Sonic, it turns out it was Noir this whole time! <laughs> what the heck? Okay. I'm kind of nervous to move on, but... It appears that you have indeed secured the power of Planetune's mascot. However... We now know that ASIC and its cronies are aware of the mascot's existence, too. Yep, we gotta find the mascots before they do. Miss Underling said she was gonna take a trip to La Station next. We should chase her quick, or she'll get there ahead of us again. I see that Nepgear's passion has been relit. Um, yes. I'm still fighting off some of my fear. But I should be fine now. Aren't we all, Nepgear? Aren't we all just doing that to survive? Excellent. I suggest you do as I said, and hurry over to last station next. Regain shares and seek the mascots. Oh, I nearly forgot to give you an important piece of advice. What is it? CPU candidates, like Nepgear, reside in both last station and Louis. Yeah, sadly, no love for Leanbox. Vert does not have a sister. <laughs> it's only La Station and Louis. I recommend you seek their aid on your journey as well. Well, Noir's sister is anything like her, we're gonna have a long issue. That would make them Noir and Blonde's younger sisters. CPU candidates. Other girls like me. Each nation has their own situation to deal with, so they may refuse at first, but making contact is vital. After all, I am certain they share your desire to save their sisters. I mean, yeah, that goes without saying. Sounds like we have our plan. Let's get to last station. Right. Well, that's it for chapter one. Probably a good place to end. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you had as much fun as I did. And I hope to see you in the next episode. So next time on Hyperdimension Neptunia Rebirth 2 Sisters Generation, we're going to head to Last Station and see what awaits us there. Perhaps Noir's little sister? Perhaps Underling going after the mascots? We'll have to find out next time. All right, everybody. I'll see you all later. This is the Nip Queen officially signing off. I hope you have a good rest of your day. Bye-bye.